Greetings, day five of our prayer vlog. And today I'd like to talk to you about praying for people whose lives are really distressing you and making you sad because they're making horrible choices in their lives. How do we pray for people like that? I found myself praying for people like that as a judge, you know, Lord, they shouldn't be doing this. Don't let them do this. Move them away from this, you know. And it was like my focus was on judging them. And so I read this book one time about how to pray for people who are unsaved. And he said, you pray believing what God actually created them to be. Grieve what they are and pray that God might move them into all he created them to be. And I love that prayer. So you pray, Lord, Lord, I, I just grieve that they haven't received you yet. I pray for salvation in their life. I know that you desire salvation for them. Would you move them in that direction, Lord? Would you bring them the salvation that you have promised to those of us who believe? And you pray believing. I know this one couple, their daughter was a prostitute. And they totally raised her in the church. And they were just so grieving that she had chosen this way of life. And they didn't know how to pray for her. And so their friend told them to pray, believing what she could be in Christ. Pray, believing that. Grieve the choices she's made. And then say, Lord, this is not what you want for her. Would you move her in the direction of what you have for her? And what a beautiful prayer to pray. It's very hard to pray for certain people. And I think there's certain times in our lives that we need to set aside to pray for those people who do not know the Lord, who are making poor choices with their life, who have walked away from the Lord, and then pray believing that God's beautiful will will be done in their life, grieving what they are, but not with judgment, grieving, and then praying the vision, called the visionary prayer, of what they could be in the Lord. If you move towards judgment, that's not a prayer. So pray grieving and then pray believing that they will be someday what God has called them to be. And it, it may be in heaven. We don't know. Uh, but God's work is in process and they have free choice. That's a hard thing to pray that people have free choice. Believe, you know, sometimes I'll say, Lord, speak to their heart, speak to their heart. But they have the choice whether they're going to listen or not. And that's why it's so hard. And that's where back to the idea that praying, realizing that you may never know the outcome and that they may never respond to the Lord in the way that you want them to uh, because we're believing that they have free will. But you know that the Lord is speaking to their heart when you pray it. I pray believing every prayer that comes out of my mouth. I pray that the Holy Spirit and the Lord are in process of having that prayer answered. It may be baby, baby, baby steps. It may be big steps. One other thing that I wanted to share on this day five is I have some friends who I think, gee, I'd sure like to share something with them, that some wisdom that I feel like I sense that they kind of maybe need. But Lord, if you don't open the opportunity, you know, I, I won't say it unless you tell me, go ahead. Uh, but in the meantime, Lord, would you be speaking to them? Would you be the one that shares this? And I've had two instances where two friends have come to me and said, Liz, look what the Lord taught me. And it was exactly what I'd been praying. So we pray believing. We pray with uh, anticipation of what God can do in a life without judgment. So God's blessings. I hope you've enjoyed these five days of prayer um, encouragements. And uh, I hope that you're doing well. Uh, and uh, give me an email. Love to hear from you. God's blessings. Bye-bye.